to God through which rivers flow. Oh, our Lord, forgive us our sins, accept our faith in the hereafter. Save us thee from the hill fire, admit us to God is, through which rivers flow, through which rivers flow. This program is sponsored by the Spai Charity Foundation. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Dear brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. I welcome you once again to our series of talks on the journey of the hereafter with our distinguished and honored guest, Sheikh Dr. Maan Kusa. So please join me in welcoming him to our program. Assalamu alaikum Dr. Kusa and welcome to our show. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. So Shaykh, uh, in the previous episode you talked about the fire and gave us a general description of what the fire of the hell is. So now, what has been said to us about the torments of the fire and that's the torments in the fire of uh, Jahannam in the Quran and Sunnah? الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises be to Allah سبحانه وتعالى May peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم When we talk about the torments in the hellfire We notice that it has been described by many attributes in Quran Adabu Jahannam was described as being alim, painful, shadid, great, muhid, encompassing, gharama, persisting, and it does not stop. If a torment stops, it's only to start another harder and tougher torment. فَذُوقُوا فَلَنْ نَزِيدَكُمْ إِلَّا عَذَابًا Taste we will only increase you or give you more and more of torments. So, Sheikh, um, could you describe to us some specific torments of the hellfire? When we read through the Quran, you know, the Quran is full of examples of uh, types of torments that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, you know, uh, spread in the Quran so that when we read, we get the lesson and we, 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 we fear the fire. Let's start with the lightest and the least torment in the hellfire. The Prophet ﷺ said that the least torment in the fire is that of a man having shoes of fire and shoelaces of fire and in another narration having live coals beneath his feet because of which his brain is boiling like a pot boils. He thinks that this is the toughest torment while this is in fact the lightest torment. Quran also told us about another kind of torment which is burning the skins and replacing them and continuously burning them again and again. We read in Surah An-Nisa Those who disbelieve in our signs we will enter them in fire. كُلَّمَا نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ Whenever their skins are burned, بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا We replace it by other skins so that they will taste the torment. We also read a very, you know, painful torment. This is الصهر, the melting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, as we read in Surah Al-Hajj, يُصَبُّ مِنْ فَوْقِ رُؤُوسِهِمُ الْحَمِيمِ يُصْهَرُ بِهِ مَا فِي بُطُونِهِمْ وَالْجُلُودِ Boiling liquid and water will be poured from above their heads out of which their bellies, all what is in their bellies as well as their skins melt. 
uh, we uh, the Prophet ﷺ even gave us some more details about this type of, of, of torment. He said that the kafir would have water boiled from over, top of, from over his head. It will go through him. It will melt and everything it goes through until it goes out from his feet. And then he goes back as he was and this torment is repeated again and again. This is the melting torment. We also read many verses that talk about torment being applied to the face. Now, why the face particularly? As we know, the face, you know, is the, you know, symbol of dignity of a person. And when somebody is hurt in the face, this is very humiliating. You know, when somebody spit in the face of someone, that's very humiliating. It's not like spitting on his hand or his foot, for example. And we read clearly in the Quran, there are plenty of verses talking about you know, torment being particularly applied to the face. Kubbat wujuhum finnar. Their faces are thrown in the fire. Talfahu wujuhahum unnar. Their faces are burned by fire. Tuqallab wujuhum finnar. Their faces are turned over in fire. Yushabuna finnari ala wujuhim. They're dragged on their faces in fire. When they beg for water to drink, they are given boiling water out of which their faces burn. So, you know, we need a lot of torment being applied to the face in particular. Yet another torment in the fire is that of chains and shackles and iron collars. We read in Surah Al-Hajj, there are, you know, roads of iron. They are hit with. Every time they try to get out of it, you know, they try to get out of it, they are hit and returned back into it. So these are just few of the torments that we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, told about in the Quran. May Allah protect us from all of this.